interface is you know somewhat Photoshop like because most of our again a lot a lot of our our, our, our users are Photoshop users so we want to make a fairly similar environment but the experience between the two is very different so what we've done is we've actually calculated each individual bristle on the brush so when you push on a canvas you would have a natural splay of bristles we call also multi-loader brushes so let's say for example you had red at the top of your brush and blue at the bottom when you made a brush stroke and turned the brush well the color would actually flip as well so this is the Wacom 6D R10 so you'll notice that the tip on it is a little wider than the regular pen we can calculate uh, the top and bottom of the brush so you can do barrel rotation we can accurately recreate what a brush brush actually does. Now because I'm using the Wacom tablet, this recognizes 1024 points of pressure. So you can see the texturing I'm getting here. Now the pressure sensitivity isn't working the way it, it should for me. So anybody who's using Painter, maybe you might not know this or new to it, there's a brush tracking option here. And what this does is it sets up the application to my brush stroke. Because everybody makes a brush stroke differently, they have different pressures, things like that. If you look at things like air brushes for example, so again if I'm on an angle you see how I get overspray here, right? Mm -hmm. Where if I just go straight down, right. it's a straight, it's a straight shot, right? What you're looking at right now is a group of very, very talented artists that can do everything from scratch. We have a whole other avenue built into the application that allows professional photographers to take photographs and then convert those into a painted portrait. So what I tend to do, because I can't paint or draw, is I start with a photograph and then I tend to go in and try to paint or do a, a painted picture or image or portrait of a picture that I've taken with my digital camera, for example. And then we also have artists that do a combination of both. So they're they're doing stuff from scratch, plus they're using photo reference or they're, they're actually taking a photo directly into Painter and then using whatever media, whatever brush, and then using what's called a cloning feature where it will take the color from the original image pixel for pixel but apply it through an oil brush or a Van Gogh brush or a uh, pastel or a chalk or whatever other the 900 brushes that we have and then make their own very unique painting.